In this video, we are showing you two solutions for solving mission 3 called Energy Storage for this year's FLL Super Powered Robot Game. One with the Spike Prime and one with the EV3. For both of our solutions, we assume that we have already collected three energy units from either the wind turbine, solar farm, or power plant missions. In this mission, points are awarded for up to three energy units that are completely in the energy storage bin at the end of the match. You can also earn points when you remove the energy unit that is in the small tray underneath the bin. To solve this mission with our Spike Prime, we use a simple upside-down L-shaped beam attachment that we attach to the base attachment for the advanced driving base. Up to three energy units can rest on the horizontal beam. This is a very similar attachment as the one we plan on using for Mission 14 Toy Factory as well. For our Spike Prime solution, our attachment is slightly tilted backwards so that the energy units don't fall off while the robot is driving. When the robot is in position, it lowers the attachment causing the energy units to fall into the energy storage bin. The robot then pulls back a little and lowers the attachment further so that it reaches in between the storage bin and the handle of the tray underneath. The robot then drives backwards, pulling the tray out and bringing it to the home area. For our EV3, we have built a hinged attachment with three prongs to loosely hold the energy units. This is the same attachment we plan on using for Mission 14 Toy Factory. Our EV3 also launches from the left launch area. When the robot is in front of the storage bin, the robot lowers the attachment causing the hinged bar with the energy units to flip over and the energy to fall off the prongs and into the storage bin. The robot then uses the bar from the attachment to pull out the tray from underneath the energy storage bin and bring it home. For solving this mission, you earn 10 points for each energy unit that is completely in the storage bin at the end of the match. This is the mission where you get the most points for an energy unit. 10 points for each, whereas you only get 5 points for each energy unit that you drop into the toy factory, hydrogen plant, or the rechargeable battery target areas. So if you have an energy unit collected that you can deliver somewhere else, this is the mission you want to attempt. You only get points for up to 3 energy units however, so no need to add any more than that. You also have to make sure that none of your energy units are touching your equipment at the end of the match. If no energy unit is left in the energy storage tray at the end of the match, another 5 points are scored, for a total of 35 possible points.